So my name is Tamara Street. And I'm Robin Street. We met at the Ortho uh, Bed Store on Colorado. It's a great store, and I think, I the way we met, actually, just because, you know, we were in the same place at the same time. Um, and what actually eventually led to a longer relationship is that Robin ended up leaving his phone number with the salesman that, that worked at Ortho Bed Center, and he was buying a mattress, and I was buying a headboard. So the next day, my um, headboard was being delivered, and um, the gentleman said, yeah, you know, by the way, the gentleman that was in here yesterday left his phone number, and so I called, and we went on our date, and kind of the rest of this history we've been together ever since. Yeah, so we've been together for like 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Long 25 yeah. years. Yeah. And we've been married uh, 19 of the 25 years. The biggest struggles are probably just coming together and seeing everything eye to eye. Um, Communication. Yes. Having, having a similar thought, trying to have two adults, two able bodied, strong willed people come to a consensus. And it's extremely difficult uh, financially. Uh, socially raising kids mm -hmm. on so many different levels it's very hard especially you know with the world we live in today mm -hmm. because there's not you know we live in a world now of people with far more equal not truly equal but more equal and it's it's difficult you have two people with two thoughts and trying to find a consensus it is uh, difficult to say the least it's difficult but I think also um, we're more like-minded, you know, we wanted the same things. Um, similar. Yeah, similar. <laughs> similar. I mean, we have a lot of things in common. We got a lot of things in common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have I a lot mean, of things we do. <laughs> we do. We have a lot of things different, yeah. but I think but, that's what makes but, us but when work. It, but, yeah, you know? but also, it's amazing how you can have so many similarities, so many uh, similar goals. But how you get there, yeah, you feel true. so different about it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's the small things, truly sometimes it's the big things. You know, we, we all want to get to that same destination. Mm -hmm. But how we get the roles we take to get there, vastly different. You know, you sometimes you just be upset for a week. <laughs> sometimes, you know, that's it's, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's me. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I usually yeah. get upset, you're but you're upset. it's usually no, for a couple of days. Boomerang back, like, oh, you know, okay. like you think something's over, and like three to, like three months later, like, you know, blah, 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 like, I thought we, I thought we used to over with that, but no, it, it ain't over, <laughs> right? So, yeah, but we, yeah. we have a lot of good times together. A lot of together. good times together. A lot of, you know, we've been we, together a long time. Yeah, so. no, we have a lot of enjoyable times. We have... A lot of say common interests. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of independence with mm -hmm. within our dependence, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so it's it works well. But yeah, it's uh, but it's work. But the one thing Robin pointed out when we first start dating, something I didn't really come to agreement right away with, is well, you know, when you're beginning dating someone, and then pro approximately like six months to a year later. You know, that's your time you either love the person or you don't or you kind of break away. But I did know that Robin was the, the one for me from the very beginning. Um, and so, you know, I loved him a lot. And when I shared that with him, you know, he would tell me, well, I like you. And I said, you like me? And I was thinking, what? I mean, what about the love? And he, he really broke it down to me about liking and how important it is to like your partner. And... I think that's what's really held us together all these years. Um, I've never felt like we were at a point where we weren't going to be together. But liking someone is when you get upset with them or you, we have our days of, you know, we're, don't, we're not getting along, but we still like one another. Um, I, was, I loved him in the very beginning and I was in love with him. Um, but those things, you come in and out of a relationship. But we've always, I think, respected one another and we've always liked one another. And that is really, I think, what's really held us together, honestly. You know, something that Tamara does that really amazes me is that the things that other people talk about, she actually does. And so many of us, just we talk about it. You know, we talk about continuing to grow, to continuing to get better, to, you know, whether you want to call it your bucket list, whether you want to call it your accomplishments, whether you want to call it your goals, whatever. 
and the majority of us talk about them and we don't do most of them and Tamara doesn't let things get in her way she continues to grow and all of it it does not come to the place where she wants everything is not a win everything is not you know I want to climb Mount Everest and I got there but I got halfway up the mountain but I tried mm -hmm. I got a quarter of the way up the mountain but I tried and I continue to try to climb the mountain where so many of us, we talk about climbing the mountain, we dream about climbing the mountain, we read a book about climbing the mountain, but we don't climb the mountain. Mm -hmm. So for that, I mean, that is truly amazing because so few people do it. And I give Tamara a lot of credit for that. Um, what I like about Robin, well, I was most attracted to him when I first saw him, and I still am. Uh, <laughs> but he's a good, he's a good friend, and he's an excellent husband and an excellent father. Um, he's very consistent and he's very dependable. Um, I, and I guess that, that's one thing I was looking for when um, I married someone is I wanted to be in a long-term marriage, long-term relationship. Um, and he's just... Um, he's hot. Yeah, you are. I yeah, sent you. Hot. I sent yeah, you. I, just love, yeah, I, I said I was good. very attractive okay, to you. Okay, we want yeah. to make sure. Yeah, 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 I find him very sexy. He's very still to sexy. the very day. Very, you're very, yeah. yes. You're not in a convertible Corvette anymore, but... Yes. <laughs> you got other sexy. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, you do. Yes. You take care of the bills. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. sexy. And yeah. the finances. Any man who take care of the bills, that's, yeah, I know, a big wallet, girls, that's attractive. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but those are the things that, the qualities that's I saw in Robin, um... <laughs> And I saw that in his parents, you know, they, they were together, the commitment that they have with one another. Um, and I think that's something that's important when you're looking to date or, or you're marrying someone, you want to look at the relationship the parents had. Um, and they were very stable, um, good family, still this very day, and I love them to, you know, with all my heart. Um, but funny, we have a great time, especially when a lot of my girlfriends are over, you know, Robin comes in the kitchen and he's talking to all my friends and everybody's just having a great time. So a good personality. You are, you are funny. You make me laugh a lot. So, um, no, he's just, he's a wonderful husband and he's, you know, he's an excellent dad. He's the best dad ever, I think, to our children. We're spiritual, but I think um, that is a work in progress, would you say? Oh, to say the least. Yeah. I mean, like today we went to church and that was nice. Um, I was gonna go by myself and, you know, Robin said, I'll go with you. And I thought that was really nice. It's something that I would like to um, implement a little bit more in our, in our relationship. Cause I think a family that stays together, prays together, I talk about that, but we are starting to be a lot more spiritual with one another and talking about um, the benefit and what it is to have, you know, God in your life. And we try to instill that in our kids. I mean, they do go to a Christian school, but we really do live the values. It's been in our families for years. Um, and as Robin's mom is very spiritual. She's not here with us anymore, but I mean, she knew the Bible like the back of her hand. She read it like, what, eight times or something? Yeah, like, at least. <laughs> at least, that mean. Like she could quote anything out the Bible. Um, but she lived those values. And the same thing with my grandparents, yeah. don't you think? And for me, personally, it's, is, you know, to have a relationship with God is very important, but it's also to understand, you know, you know, don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. And whether it's you got a relationship with God or whether you have a relationship with Buddha, with, you know, Muhammad, whoever you have your relationship, or Allah, I'm sorry, or, or whatever your beliefs are, it's, you know, it's the, it's the common values, the, you know, being, you know, treating people the way you want to be treated, to reaching out to people, to helping people, bringing people up, pulling people up, pulling yourself up. Um, church is a wonderful thing, but a lot of people are all about church on Sunday and they're about doing anything the rest of the week. I would tell them, you know, really do what they think is right for them. Meaning, did we live together? Yes, we lived together for a short time before we got married. Married. Uh, you no, know, do what's right. Do what's right for you. Meaning, uh, does the Bible tell you that's right? No, it doesn't. So, once again, we don't do everything that's going to be right. 
But also, does the, mer does the Bible tell you that divorce is right? No, it doesn't. But as we all know, you can't stay with everybody. Some people aren't right. So we live in a world where, you know, I feel that you got to really look at yourself and you got to think for some people, living together is the best thing. Because I think once again, living together, being happy, uh, treating each other with respect, trying to be the best person you can be. I know a whole lot of people who are married, but they ain't happy. And, like, and truthfully, we all know a whole lot of people who are married, they shouldn't be married. <laughs> and so I still think marriage is the best way, but I don't think it's the only way. You know, so it's, you know, I just, you know, you just see a lot of marriages that, a lot of people go into, a lot of people go into marriage and they're trying to be married one-on-one. -on -one. This is what the book says. This is what my mama said. This is what my cousin said. This is what my friend said. And they're trying to follow steps one through 10. Mm -hmm. And one through 10 don't work for everybody, so. Yeah, I just feel like with marriage and when you're dating, um, as I said before, you know, when I met Robin, I knew I wanted him to be, I knew he was the husband of my dreams. Um, and I knew he was the man for me in the very beginning, um, probably two to three months out, I knew that I wanted him to be my husband. And he had all the qualities that I was looking for, for a husband. But I think it's important when someone is dating, um, you do need to look into the future and, and see if, you know, if that's the right person for you. If there's something in the back of your mind that's telling you maybe not, you know, you should listen to those, you know, you should listen to your common sense and those signs and those you know th those feelings that you may have and really you know maybe take heed of that and you know slow the relationship down uh, but i feel strongly about when you're living together we didn't live together probably three months four months before we married right about that time like yeah that. before the wedding actually and i felt okay about it because we had been together for so long and we knew we were you know going to get married there was nothing in the way of that um but I think living together, I mean, it just depends on the maturity of the, the adults. Depends on the couple. Yeah, it depends you know. on the couple. It might be the best thing for them. Because some people get into a marriage and they never live together. Or, and they never have those experiences. And they find out they can't really, it doesn't work. They you know? function. They don't yeah. get along. Some people learn they don't like each other. Yeah, you know? exactly. And, so, and then other people, you know, they never really wanted to be married. They only wanted to live together. But if you, for me, if you can do it and be happy, then you know more power to you. You know. Right. You but know, I would say you. with young couples, I would just say that you know follow your heart and you know your dreams and and your common sense. And, yeah, your common sense. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but yeah, your common sense. Yeah, seriously, do that. Yeah. Um, and just make sure it's the person you want to you know hopefully be with for the rest of your life. I mean, that's the end result of it all. And I think it's important because. You bring children into the world, and whether you know you're going to be with that person or not, I mean, by all means, try to find someone that you know that you're you are going to have to deal with this person forever. Yeah, children I mean, are forever. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they are. So I think that's really important. Well, the future hope for us. Um, hopefully, we've been together what? 25? Oh, just more of the same good stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, just been yeah. so yeah. good. Just I know. pour some more of that goodness on top of that, huh? Yeah. No, so. I think you know what what the future holds for us is to get our kids through high school and college, and see them off. And if they, you know, get married, we'd be ha very happy, have grandchildren, and you know, we talk a lot about retirement and you know where we want to live, and you know, we talk about that because of finances and real estate, and I think that's important. So, and we want to continue growing. I mean, the future holds it holds hope. It holds. You know, it's the marathon. I mean, the future holds, you know, we, we hope when we get to mile 22, 23, 24, you know, are we living some part of the dream? You know, and the dream is not all about finances. The dream is not all about anything. The dream is, you know, it encompasses all. It encompasses happiness. It encompasses seeing your children grow into the best people they can be. They're not gonna always grow into the people you want them to be, because that's not who you want them to be. That wasn't for them. And sometimes we actually look at it, who you want them to be wasn't really the right thing. So it just really, it, it holds hope, you know. It, uh, it, it, it holds 
the hope, you know, that we'll all evolve. That we'll all be a little better, you know, tomorrow than we were, you know, yesterday. And that's really what the future holds for me, you know, and I hope that's what it holds for my family. You know, we say, you know, we keep on putting one step, one foot in front of the other, and just, you know, stay on the grind. I think it's very important. Um, it's not the only love. It's not the only love for black folks. But I think it's a very important love. It's a commonality. It's a culture. It's, uh, it's fun. It's something that you're used to, but at the same time, it's something new and something that can grow. Um, really and truly, I don't think black love is any different than any other love. Love is love. And I think that as a group, we all need to learn to love ourselves and love our common black men and black women. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, for whatever it's worth, if you end up loving someone who isn't an African American, who isn't black, you still got black love. If you are a black woman with a white man, a Hispanic man, an Asian man, you still got black love. You still black. You're gonna be black all your life. Same thing, you know, for men. So, any love that has us in it is still black love. If, you know, uh, so, you know, love is love. And it's a good thing, you know, and um, I think, you know, we'd all do a little better if we come to understand that. So, you know, black love is great love, but it's all black love. That's, that, that's my take on it. Once again, you know, my wife could have a I just different think, way of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, I mean, I agree with what you're saying about that, but I think black love is very important in the fact that, like you said, we need to love ourselves more. And I think sometimes we go outside of our race to think that we can find love somewhere else and the love is right there. And I just think that, like you said, love is love. That's very true. But black love is very important. And I, and I hope that our children see the black love that we have for one another, the love that we have for one another, um, and that they see it in the Obamas, because it really is a beautiful thing. And you can have beautiful children, and they can excel, and you can excel and, and grow by having a black family. You don't necessarily have to go outside your race, but I don't have anything against you going outside your race. If that's who you love, that is who you love. There's no way of controlling that. Um, but I just hope that others do see us and they do look at, oh, there's a, you know, there's black love. There's a family that's very much, you know, they're in love and they love their children um, and we're doing well and we strive to do well and we want to do better. But yeah, love is love, but you know, it's good for other African Americans to see happy black families. You know that are that do love one it's another. It's good for us to see everything. I mean, it you know, is in good. the in the perfect world, you would see everything. Mm -hmm. You know, the world's not perfect, but you know, we're working towards it. But we it. see so many negative mm -hmm. things with African Americans. Mm -hmm. I think it's just put in the media all the time, and do, we don't really get to see that many positive things about black families and black love. So that's what I feel is very important for others to be able to interpret that. Yeah, I can have a African American wife or, you know, husband and be just as happy. It yeah, it just depends on, you know, where you yeah, are in life. But important. it is it's very, very important for other blacks to see a healthy black relationship. Mm -hmm. That is very, very important. But there's some you know some some trouble in there, some problems they had to work through, this thing that you had to overcome. So uh yeah, it makes this, the relationship stronger too. I mean, it does. Sure it does. Okay. I think so. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I think we probably strong enough now. <laughs> we could, so we might do that. We strong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some big marriage muscles, so yeah. we can take it easy now, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> we can just enjoy the good times. Yeah. <laughs>